In this video, we will demonstrate how to navigate within Priority. We'll begin by logging in to Priority. We're going to use the Sales Orders form to introduce you to some basic concepts and operations pertaining to navigation. Priority offers a consistent and easy-to-learn user interface, so that once you have mastered some basic navigation and operation skills in this form, you can easily apply them throughout the system. So let's go to the Sales menu, Orders, and open the Sales Orders form. Let's take a quick look at the overall layout of the Priority interface. In the center of the screen, we have our active form, Sales Orders. Notice the form's title bar, which displays the form title and is colored turquoise. The color of this title bar corresponds to the company environment in which you are currently working, Demo Company, and functions as a visual aid for users who work with several different companies. Details on defining the color coding used in a multi-company environment are provided elsewhere. The various panes to either side of the form can be collapsed and expanded by clicking on the green tab, which always remains visible. For example, at the upper left side of the form, we can see the main menu, which we use to navigate to this form. When you click the Attach tab, the menu expands, and you can see all the different menus you opened in order to reach the Sales Orders form. Note that here, too, there is a turquoise title bar displaying the primary company environment in which you are working. Any entities that are opened from the main menu will open in this company environment. Right-clicking any of the sub-menus or other menu items, such as forms or reports, opens a context-sensitive menu containing various useful commands, which are also available via the top menu bar, introduced later. Similarly, shortcuts to various commands that are used while working in a form are available by right-clicking within the form itself, as we will see later. You can also navigate the main menu via the keyboard. First, press the Control key. While holding down the control key, use the up and down arrows to open a navigation pane and then select the main menu. Now release the control key. The main menu is now active and you can use the arrow keys to move within each level of menus and to expand or collapse the various submenus. The pane below the main menu contains a list of your favorite forms, reports and other entities. Entities that were used recently are also added automatically to the Recent Items sub-menu of your Favorites menu. If the number of favorite entities exceeds the available menu space, they will be divided among several numbered tabs. Click on the number to access the tab. Once again, we can use the green tab to expand or collapse the entire Favorites menu, like so. If you have a wide screen, you may not need to free up as much space, even when these panes are collapsed. To permanently expand the entire sidebar on either side of the screen, just drag the edges to the desired width. Priority will remember this width the next time the same user logs into any machine. The tool tray, located at the lower left corner of the screen, provides shortcuts to a variety of useful functions. Some of the options that appear here are context-sensitive, that is, they appear only when you are working with a particular form or other entity. Owing to their large quantity, the shortcuts are included in several numbered tabs. Click on the number to access the tab. We are going to go ahead and collapse this tool tray in the meantime, in order to free up more space on the screen. At the top center of the screen, to the left of the form title, is the top bar, which provides functions related to the appearance and navigation of the work area, the internal mail system, and a variety of help options. You can navigate the top bar via both mouse and keyboard. In the later case, press Ctrl plus backtick to access the top bar, use the left and right arrows to move between menus, 
Use the up and down arrows to move within the menu and the Enter key to select the current command. Let's turn our attention to the panes in the right sidebar. At the top right corner of the screen, to the right of the form title, is the form navigation pane, which provides information on your current placement in the form and the form's current company environment. Below this pane, we have a list of direct activations available for the current form. Finally, the lowest pane on the right displays all open priority forms, which is particularly useful when more than one form is open. Later on, we'll see some examples of how these panes are used. Let's return our focus to the sales order form. This form is used to record general information regarding the customer and the order, such as customer name and order number. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have set up the sales order form so that upon entering the form, the system automatically retrieves all sales orders that are defined with today's date. The sales orders form opens in full record display mode, in which one full record is displayed at a time. In this mode, the form's columns are conveniently divided into tabs. You can use the left and right arrow keys while holding down the shift key to move back and forth between tabs, or simply click the desired tab. However, any additional records will be hidden from view until you move to a different line. Note, this display mode is fully customizable, allowing you to organize the columns in a manner that meets your needs and display them in custom tabs. You may notice that some form columns have a green icon next to the column title, indicating that there are related BI reports that can be run for retrieved data. You can click this icon to display a list of relevant BI reports, which you can run to display data related to the value of the column. In order to see multiple records at one time, you can press F4 to toggle to multi-record display mode, which presents all of the form's records in a table. This mode is particularly useful for viewing retrieved data, and many forms open directly in this mode. However, if the form is wide, some of the columns will be hidden until you scroll to them. Note that you can also toggle between display modes using the corresponding shortcut in the tool tray by selecting the corresponding command from the top bar or by right-clicking within the form and selecting the corresponding command from the right mouse button menu. Keep in mind whenever you are working in priority that most functions can be accessed via two or more of these methods, enabling you to choose the method that you find most convenient. To move within the current record, while you are in full record display mode, simply click on the desired field with a mouse. Alternatively, you can use the arrow keys or press Enter, Tab, or Shift plus Tab to go backwards. To move between the main section and the first tab, it is sufficient to use the right arrow key. To move between tabs, press Shift plus right arrow and Shift plus left arrow, or press Tab to move from the last column in one tab to the first column in the next. To move between records while you are in full record display mode, use the page up and page down keys. Alternatively, you can use the scroll button on your mouse or use the vertical scroll bar at the left of the form. Notice that the number of the current line is displayed in blue in the lower left-hand corner of the active form. When the desired number appears, we'll release the mouse button. By the way, note that the current form line is displayed whenever the cursor is placed over this scroll bar. If you look over at the form navigation pane, this also displays our current location within the form. Line 4 out of 7. In this example, we have defined the sales orders form as a multi-company form, so that authorized users can view orders that were recorded in any of a number of designated companies. When scrolling between orders that were opened in different companies, you'll notice that the color of the form's title bar changes accordingly. This color coding is a visual aid to help you differentiate between the companies in which each order is defined. This color coding is particularly useful when you open related records in other forms directly from this one, rather than via the main menu, 
as we are about to demonstrate. The ability to open related forms from within the form itself allows you to view pertinent information in the target form without ever leaving the original one. Once you arrive at the target form, you can add new records, revise existing ones, and copy values back to the original form. Say I need information about the customer for which a particular order was recorded. I can look at the customer number and customer name recorded for that order. If I want more information, I can move from the customer number column to the customer's form. In columns that display an arrow to the right of the column, such as this one, pressing F6 or clicking the icon opens a choose list or search list, which is used for data entry. If the list in question happens to be empty of values, this action takes you directly to the target form, where you can add records that will later be used to populate the list. If there are records in the choose or search list, you can still activate the target form by pressing F6 again from within the list. We are now in the customer's form, where we can view additional information regarding the customer. Notice that the form's title bar is brown as the title bar on the main menu, indicating that we are currently working in the English demo company. That's because we enter this form from a sales order that is itself defined for the English demo company. You can continue on to additional forms in the same fashion. Note that here too, the form opens in the English demo company environment. If we take a look at the form navigation pane, we can see not only the current form, form column and line, but also a list of all the previous forms from which we entered this one. This can be used to help you retrace your steps back to a previous form. While you can always simply press escape to return to the last form you were in, you can also click on a given form title in the form navigation pane to return directly to that form. The same functionality applies throughout the system and can be used recursively to navigate quickly and easily from one record to another, related record, or to facilitate data retrieval. Let's move to the order items form, which appears below this one. In other words, we want to enter the order items sublevel form. Sublevel forms provide detailed information regarding the record displayed in the upper level form. So, for example, order items is used to list the items in the current sales order. The sublevel form automatically displays any pertinent records connected to the highlighted record in the upper level form. In our example, any items that have been recorded for the current sales order now appear automatically in the order items form. Most upper level forms have several sublevel forms connected to them. When the number of sublevels exceed the quantity that can be viewed at one time, numbered buttons appear to the right of the tabs. Click on the buttons to access additional tabs. Some forms also include arrows at either edge of the row of buttons, which provide access to even more sublevel forms. Notice that the tab of the order items form appears in front of the rest of the sublevel tabs and its title appears in bold. This indicates that the order items form is currently the default sublevel form. As we will see later, this default changes dynamically whenever you select a different sublevel form. To move directly into the default sublevel form, press F12. The order items form opens in multi record display mode, in which multiple records are displayed, each in a separate row. Of course, you can easily change the display mode if you prefer. To move between rows in multi record display mode using the keyboard, Use the up and down arrow keys. If you're in the top row, pressing the up arrow brings you straight to the last row. If you prefer to use the mouse, you can simply click on the desired row or scroll between rows using either the scroll button on your mouse or the vertical scroll bar to the left of the form. As we saw when navigating in the upper level form in full record display mode, the current form line is displayed whenever the cursor is placed over the scroll bar, and the number of the current line is displayed in blue in the lower left-hand corner of the active form as you scroll. As you move from one row to another, notice that the row you are in changes color 
highlighting the record that is active at any given point. To move between columns within the active row, use the right and left arrow keys or press Tab and Shift Tab. To move one column in either direction, right or left. Alternatively, simply click on the desired field with a mouse. In a form with many columns, not all can be viewed at once. Drag the horizontal scroll bar in either direction to view additional columns. The red pin that is attached to one of the first form columns determines the part of the form that you continue to see as you scroll. Any sublevel form can have sublevels of its own. The order items form has many of its own sublevel forms. The sublevel of a sublevel functions just like any other sublevel. Let's move to another sublevel of the sales orders form. We can use Alt and the right and left arrow keys to move directly to a parallel sublevel form. Alternatively, we can return to the upper level form by pressing Escape and then select a different form from a list of sublevel forms. Let's press F5 to open a list of sublevel forms. Choose Internal Dialog and then press OK. This particular sublevel is a text form. As you can see, the remark that was recorded in this form includes a link, in this case, a link to another record in priority. We can double click that link to move directly to the form and record in question, where we can view additional details pertaining the record. We now have two forms open sales orders and customers. You can use Ctrl plus the up and down arrows to rapidly switch between the two open forms. First, press the Ctrl key. While holding down the control key, use the up and down arrows to open a navigation pane and then to select the desired form. Now release the control key. If you look over at the active screens pane, you'll see that both forms appear. You can use this pane to switch between the open forms or right click to minimize or close one or both forms. Let's close the customer's form. And now we're back in the internal dialog sublevel of the sales orders form. Let's press escape to return to the upper level form. Next, we're going to see how to print an order confirmation for the customer directly from this form. Let's expand the list of direct activations. Here we can see a shortcut for printing an order confirmation. You can also right-click before actually selecting and activating the shortcut to view relevant help text. Notice that there are a few numbered buttons at the bottom of the list, as there are many direct activations for the sales orders form. When you are done working in the sales orders form, close it by pressing Escape on the keyboard or clicking the X at the top menu bar. This concludes our explanation of priority navigation.